everybody in Utah knows somebody suffering from one of these conditions. To legalize what are commonly known as magic mushrooms is set to be unveiled in the Utah legislature. It's sponsored by a powerful Utah lawmaker. Fox 13 News political reporter Ben Winslow has the exclusive story from Utah's Capitol Hill. The bill would essentially legalize psilocybin in the state of Utah, but under some very strict protocols. There's enough evidence that can help in very specific mental health um, conditions, so we just want to bring it in a very controlled manner. Senate Minority Leader Luz Escamilla is running a bill to legalize psilocybin to treat mental health issues. What I want to say, first of all, is the psilocybin bill will not allow for it to be sold anywhere. This actually will be in a controlled environment. Under her bill, doctors can recommend it for anxiety, depression, or PTSD, but it can only be consumed in a clinic and under the observation of medical professionals. Utah will be the first in the nation to come up with a program like this. The Utah Patients Coalition, which backed medical cannabis, is supporting this latest legislation. We're having a crisis right now, and people are waiting for help right now, and our suicide rate is second in the nation. We don't have a lot of time to wait, so we decided to just approach our lawmakers and see how they felt about it, and to be honest, the lawmakers, in hearing that we had an option, were on board and even offered other conditions that they might like to investigate in the future if this is successful. A recent state-sponsored study found some benefits of psilocybin but did suggest lawmakers wait. We're concerned that this is a psychoactive substance, right? that alters mood, cognitive perception, and and also causes, uh, you know, hallucinogenic episodes, as it were. And so we are concerned that we're going around the FDA process. The Utah Medical Association says it has concerns. Maybe a pilot project would be the best way to start or something like that, rather than just you know, diving into it and saying we're going to do this. Senator Escamilla says she's getting support for her bill. If people and their doctors in that, you know, in that process get to the point that they want to try this instead of a, an opioid option that could potentially have a more impact on them becoming addicted to that and have other issues, why not? The Senate Minority Leader's bill is expected to be unveiled next week. On the Hill, Ben Winslow, Fox 13 News, Utah.